Hi, uh, Dr. Goldberg here, just uh, reviewing antibiotics. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about antibiotics for gram-negative aerobic infections. Um, basically, there's six groups of antibiotics that we can use for these types of infections. And I want you to have an understanding of the different groups, side effect profile, when to use, and that type of thing. Uh, group one is basically the aminoglycosides. Aminoglycosides uh, work on protein synthesis, uh, primarily working on the 30S ribosome. Uh, genomycin and tobramycin have been our workhorse anti antibiotics in the aminoglycoside class for years. Um, tobramycin has a little better activity against some of the uh, tribe 2 gram negatives than genomycin and has less uh, nephrotoxicity than the genomycin. Genomycin is cheaper to use. Uh, but by and large, the aminoglycosides are concentration-dependent antibiotics. Uh, ototoxicity is a problem. Nephrotoxicity is a problem, especially in uh, people, old women, uh, older women who have infection. Obviously, people with elevated creatinine, you wouldn't even think about using aminoglycosides. Um, but very effective for gram-negative rod infections. Second group of, uh, uh, second antibiotic for this group is uh, Astreanam. Uh, it's a very selective uh, uh, activity for uh, gram-negative aerobes. Uh, it's nice because it doesn't uh, cause uh, any issues with anaerobes, staph strep, or enterococci. Very selective for gram-negative rods and a good alternative drug for you to use. The cephalosporins, as we go to the third and fourth generation, have even better gram-negative aerobic rod covers than ANCEP, though ANCEP covers over 90% of E. coli, Proteus, and Klebsiella. Cephalosporins uh, in the third uh, generation, ceftazidime, uh, probably our best uh, cephalosporin, and then fourth generation, cefepime, very good gram-negative aerobic infection, uh, especially uh, pseudomonas and some of the more tenacious uh, tribe 2 gram-negative rods. Um, the Next group is the penems, uh, imipenem, doripenem, meripenem, uh, really good for gram-negative rod uh, problems. Ertipenem has probably the uh, least gram-negative rod coverage of, of all four, but still very good and is used once a day. <clears throat> so the penems are broad spectrum, but they have very good gram-negative rod coverage, especially doripenem. Uh, the fifth group is the extended uh, penicillins, the zosins and the timentin uh, agents, which, again, have excellent gram-negative rod coverage. Uh, they're extended penicillins, uh, the uh, clavulinate and the uh, tazobactam or suicide inhibitor drugs, uh, making zosin and timentin uh, excellent. Lastly, the quinolones. Uh, Cipro, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin have very good gram-negative rod coverage, uh, but we try to limit the use of these drugs for respiratory infections. Uh, but again, an alternative gives you six uh, groups of antibiotics that are very effective for <clears throat> gram-negative aerobic rods. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing off for now.